Hey guys, it's Miss Claus. I wanted to just do a little video walkthrough of our week. I'm hoping that giving you this video walkthrough of what we're doing, where to turn it in, and all of that good stuff will help. Just kind of streamline any questions and confusion that we have. Um, I know that for a lot of you, this is a first online class, and it, there's definitely been a bit of a learning curve with the way I set things up and how to use D2L and all of those things, but I'm hoping that we are over that hump. If you are struggling still, please reach out to me. We can do a phone call or a Zoom. Um, the students that I've done that with, it's been very helpful. Um, so do that. Don't let yourself struggle. If you need help, let me know. I'm here for you. So just a little bit about our week four here. We are going to, for readings, you're going to find a list of options here. There are five different memoir, either excerpts or personal essays. And you're going to choose two of these to read. Now, these, you are not limited to these. These are just ones that I have gathered and given you as options. But if you want to do your own seeking out or if you've got something in the back of your mind that would be a great and relevant excerpt, feel free to pull in some outside resources. If you have something great, send it to me and I'll update this list for your classmates and for future semesters. Um, so those are our readings you're going to write. You're going to read two of those. Obviously, read more if you want, but you have to read at least two. And then you're going to head over to the discussion board and read through those prompts and share your thoughts with your peers. The big thing is your final draft of your essay is due this Sunday. So you have written a rough draft. You have shared that with peers and gotten some feedback. And you will have your feedback from me no later than Wednesday. I'll try to get it to you as soon as possible, but I do have quite a few to get through and I don't want to rush your feedback. So I do want to be able to take some time and give you some meaningful things to work on. So, but no later than Wednesday. And you will take this final draft and and really make it the best of your ability. Make sure you're meeting all the expectations, that we have the MLA format, that we have integrated our feedback and suggestions to really strengthen this and make it the very best possible essay. And that will be due by Sunday night at 11.59, along with the personal analysis. And this is just an option. This is much more casual. This is a, a chance. It's not an option. I'm sorry. I misspoke there. This is just an opportunity for you to kind of reflect on your process, how this essay went, what you need to work on, um, what you might have struggled with, and just kind of do some self-reflecting. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down through this and make sure you see everything. So in case you're not navigating the course the way that I do, your best way to get to your content is just to hit to click content and then on the side you will come down to the week that it is so we're looking at week four right now and then within each week I'd break it down by readings so here you see those five different options and then under here we have assignments we've got our memoir choice discussion So here, after selecting your memoir choice analysis assignment, you're going to share your thoughts in a full paragraph of at least seven sentences. Now, bear in mind that a set one seven-sentence paragraph is, you know, a very basic response. So absolutely feel free to go beyond this. This is just the bare minimum. So you don't necessarily have to answer all of these questions. You can also hit on things that are not in here, but here's some jumping off thoughts. Um, which did you select? Why did you select it? What drew you to this? From a literary stance, what did the author do well? What do you think maybe could be improved upon? And then I'd really like you to pull out a quote or passage from the text that you found really significant and expound on that. Why was that significant? What impact did it carry? Um, why did you connect with it? That sort of thing. Again, these are just suggestions. You can dig into more than what I've touched on here. So you'll share your post and then you will go and respond to at least two of your classmates posts in a meaningful way. I think you probably know but just to clarify I'm not looking for great idea or I agree that sort of thing. I'm looking for you to really read it and give some discourse about your thoughts. If you agree you know why do you agree and expound upon that. If you disagree you know this is a, a good place to share those thoughts but definitely respond with with some meat to your response okay then we've got our draft our box for our final narrative draft you'll upload that there and then our personal narrative analysis 
that you'll submit alongside that on Sunday. So you'll open this up. I've had a couple people who are sending me share or edit requests. I'm never going to give you edit access because these are my originals, but you can always go to file, make a copy, and then that will make it to where you can um, edit on it. So this is your personal narrative analysis that you will complete. Okay? So that is what we are going to hit on this week. Hopefully this little walkthrough clarifies your assignments and deadlines for you. If you still have lingering questions about this week or overall, reach out, email me, um, and I'm like I said, I'm happy to set up a meeting with you if you feel like you need some one-on-one -on -one conversation with me that goes a little deeper than just a quick email. Okay? I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I cannot wait to start reading all of your rough drafts. They've been rolling in all day. I haven't read any yet, but I'm going to get started here in just a minute, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, have a great day.